With the fifth selection of the 2018 MLB draft, the Cincinnati Reds select Jonathan India. <laughs> Jonathan is a third baseman from the University of Florida in Gainesville, Florida. The New York Mets have the next selection. Jonathan India really regarded as one of the best all-around players in this draft class. Uh, he was a highly regarded prospect coming out of Powerhouse High School American Heritage. Drafted in the 26th round by the Brewers. Went to play college ball instead. It panned out. The Gator broke out in a big way this past season. He had 364 with 18 home runs, 45 RBIs. He can do a little bit of everything. Uh, the fifth overall selection to the Cincinnati Reds. Six feet, 200 pounder. That's right-handed, and our right-handed third baseman, Mike Lowell, back again with more on Jonathan. Jonathan India, a great pick, and there's a lot to like about this guy. Third baseman out of the University of Florida. His power really came along here his junior year, playing in that tough SEC conference. What I like about his approach is that it's a very advanced approach. He doesn't strike out a lot, has power to all fields. We're taking a look here. Nice power. Looked like he didn't even hit this ball all that solid. Takes it out the other way. And this second clip is what I'm really impressed with. This home run right here is off one of the top arms in the draft, Casey Mize out of Auburn. Sets the tone here in a big SEC uh, matchup. This leg kick tells me he's coming with damage. He has the ability to do that, and he understands he's coming with an approach. Reminds me a lot of Josh Donaldson of the Toronto Blue Jays. Similar build. Third baseman, you, he can move around well, has played a lot of games at shortstop this year, which proves that there's an athletic ability where he can probably play multiple positions. Who does that remind me of? Alex Bregman of the Houston Astros. He was predominantly a shortstop in, in college. They saw how athletic he was. The bat's what's going to play the most. So for me, if someone like Jonathan India turns out to be like Alex Bregman, it's a big plus. Back to you guys. Mike, thank you. He did everything scouts want to see. Cut down on his strikeouts. He increased his walk rate. As we bring in uh, Peter Gammons. Peter, he's also a really good base runner, which is overlooked. Outstanding base runner. He, does, he works very hard at all the little things in the game. He... Now, there are people who think he could play shortstop, but he's a th shortstop playing third base, which means he's not going to have any transition problem as he goes up through the high minor leagues. One thing he's done, if you, you meet him and you watch him closely, he is really strong from the elbows to the fingertips. Incredible core. He's really strong and very wiry. And what he's done really well is learn how to take the ball to the opposite field, so now he uses the power, gap and home run fly ball power to all, to all fields. This is going to be a really good everyday third baseman in the big leagues. All right, Bob, Peter, thank you very much. Uh, Jonathan, is it possible that a position player drafted this high could be a safe pick? Is he a safe pick? He's a, he's a fairly safe pick, I think, just because the all-around skills are, are, are good. Maybe they're not sexy. Remember all the stuff I said about the Reds moving guys to shortstop? I'm just going to repeat that again because I think he could play shortstop, and they've done that. You look at what they did with Nick Senzel. They moved him around a little bit. Second base. Third. He, yeah, he could play second base. I think Jonathan India could play any of those three infield spots. I think third base is probably his best defensive home, but I could see him on the with right the side. The 18th of, uh, selection of the, of the 2018 MLB draft, the Kansas City Royals select Brady Singer, a right-handed pitcher from the University of Florida, Gainesville, Florida. The St. Louis Cardinals had the next selection. Six foot five right hander. He was drafted 56th overall back in 2015. Chose to attend Florida. It paid off. Uh, he's been atop the Florida rotation for the past two seasons. Helped them win the College World Series this season. 11 and 1, 2.27 ERA. And Stephen Nelson, standing by the Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez, with more on Brady Singer. With Pedro Martinez and Pedro, anybody can look at Brady Singer's profile and see his frame, his stuff, his presence, and his performance, particularly on big stages, and be impressed. But you're the Hall of Famer, so I want to know what you think. I think this is the safest bet in, in, in the draft. This kid is strong. He's got two big league pitchers ready already. The fastball is a power fastball. The curveball is there. Very little you have to work with him. And not only that, this de his demeanor on the mound I think it's uh, uh, close to the big league demeanor that you need. You can see that fire and that emotion that he pitches with. You love that. I absolutely love that because that could lead you to take this guy and make him a closer, which is something I cannot see on him. I see that he could be a closer in the future. 
if he doesn't pan out as a, as a starter. So Brady Singer, just like his former teammates Alex Fajardo and A.J. Puck, the latest in the line of that Florida factory of pitchers to go from the swamp to the MLB draft. Steven Pedro, thank you. As uh, Steven just said, this is what they do. They pump out pitching into the first round. AJ Puck is eventually going to be unbelievable. It's unfortunate that he had the injury that took place True. in spring training with the Oakland A's, but they know how to do this. Uh, Peter Gammons, I'm a little surprised we saw seven pitchers go off the board before we got the Brady Singer. Are you surprised? This happens. Roger Clemens was 19th and might be seen at 20th in their respective drafts. So it, this does happen. He's very similar to those guys, and actually Dan mentioned Aaron Nola. That's what people at the University of Florida always liken him to. And so people have said, well, he needs another pitch. Well, Aaron Nolan came up with the championship up this, this year, and it's going to be in the All-Star game. Singer is, is, is studies, he prepares, he's very deceptive. He's won huge games in the best baseball conference in the country. Struck out 21 and two starts in the College World Series last year. I mean, the, the, the definition of the coaching staff of Florida is he simply wins. And when you do that in the best conference in the country and you do it with his command and his consistency, I mean, he's a perfect guy for a rebuilding team like Florida. I mean, like Kansas City because he's, he's going to be 24, 25 when, when they start to come back again. Yeah, and again, this is the first of five picks they have here on day one. I know you're you're very high on Brady Singer. Oh, absolutely. I, you know, everything's been really talked about, but I will say two things that no one mentioned is that, one, he's got deception within his delivery, and he's got absolutely outstanding late-life movement. He's got rhythmic uh, rhythm on the mound. Um, he's just got, you know, he's got to further develop his changeup i.e. Aaron Nola, and the one thing you don't have to teach this guy to do is compete. He is a great competitor and has performed at the highest level.